Hi everyone and welcome back. In Stealthy Woods manufacturing process, there's an element we shouldn't overlook, the overall equipment effectiveness, also called OEE. It's known as the gold standard for measuring companies' manufacturing productivity. But why would I use this in an SME such as mine? The reason is quite simple. It's because OEE can help me identify the percentage of truly productive manufacturing time. Using this, I gain essential insight toward improving my process. It also helps me identify losses and enhance my equipment's productivity. Thus, OEE can make operations more efficient and cost-effective. When we launch a new product, this could lead to a significant return on investment. After all, ensuring existing equipment is used to the fullest reduces the need for more money to be spent to meet our production needs. Keeping an eye on the overall equipment effectiveness is therefore vital to unleash a company's true potential. So let's look at how we can take advantage of it. All right, here I am on my database. Now, overall, OEE might look hard to understand and compute, but luckily, Odoo records everything automatically and the complicated steps are gone, which is quite convenient, especially for people who are not experts in manufacturing. So let's jump to our manufacturing application. All right, here I'm gonna have a dashboard overview of my work centers, and I'm also gonna see an OEE um, percentage here on the work centers that I've already used at least one time. So we won't see one for my assembly line two because I haven't used it yet. And you're also gonna notice that the percentages are in green. And this means that the work centers have met the target level that I set up on each one individually. And if the OEE drops below the target, the number will turn red. So for example, on drill station one, let's go to the settings. I'm gonna change the OEE target from 90% to 100%. When I go back to the dashboard, I'm gonna see that that percentage is now in red, meaning my team is not as productive as I expect. But let's quickly go ahead and change this back to the way that it was. All right, we can also have um, statistics for each work center as well that will help me know uh, when materials are missing or when equipment has failed um, and other things as well by clicking on OEE on the individual uh, work center. So for example, let's go ahead and select here. Um, for this work center, I see that we have mostly been productive, but we've had some issues with material availability. And so I just have this really nice overview for that specific work center, but of course we can have an overall OEE report as well. So we're going to go to the reporting menu, click on overall equipment effectiveness. All right, I'm going to see my work centers here. Of course, I want to group by loss reason so I can see the specific loss reason. And I'm also going to check this out um, in the pie chart view as well. All right, so here I have my assembly line one fully productive time. And on the left, I have my drill station one fully productive time. I can look at just specific things by crossing out some of the options at the top. So this is just a really nice report to have. But a question remains, how do we compute the OEE? Well, in theory, it's more or less obtained by multiplying the availability, performance, and quality. Yet, I told you before that Odoo computes it automatically for you, so no need to go into too much detail. Instead, let's see it in action. Let's see if the OEE changes when it takes longer than expected to manufacture a product. So I'm gonna go back to my dashboard and I'm going to jump to one of my uh, work orders um, that is already ready to go. And actually, I'm going to go to the list view of work orders that I have here and I'm going to manually change the expected duration. All right, so we expect that this will take one minute. All right, so let's go ahead um, and start. Actually, we're going to change the real duration already to one minute so that we know we're going to go over and then we're gonna process this. All right, so we're gonna start this. You'll see that um, it's adding on to that one minute that I have already manually added. All right, so let's go ahead and add a serial number here. We're going to validate this step. A lot number, validate this step as well. All right, we're gonna continue working. I'm going to apply um, a serial number for this product, and then I'm going to mark as done and close the manufacturing order. So once again, the expected duration was one minute, and now we've clearly gone over that. So let's go ahead and click on mark as done and close the manufacturing order. All right, and then we're gonna jump back to our manufacturing dashboard and we're gonna see that the OEE has already been impacted. And if we go to that OEE report, we're also going to see a report of reduced speed as well. 
All right, so where you see that little sliver of the reduced speed. Um, so that's been added right away. And don't forget, you can also have a really nice overview of um, both of your work sensors here. And then we're going to see that reduced speed has been added. So it's just been a few seconds. So it's not extremely visible, but we know that it is there. So as promised, everything related to the OEE calculation is automatically done by Odoo based on the actions employees record during the manufacturing process. And it works the same way for each work center and takes inner work centers, uh, center flows into account as well. And that's all for this video. Thank you for watching. And if I don't see you, good afternoon, good evening, and good night.